So basically, I found a way of performing an easier version of aggressive sock folder that I'm gonna call passive sock folder, which pretty much saves the same amount of time as aggressive sock folder, but the inputs are farther from each other. Like, it's easier to focus on every single segment of inputs you want to do to perform like the setup. So like, you want to jump from frame 220, which would be around here, at this pixel, and you want, since you full jump, you're gonna land at this block, and then you want to do a frame perfect B press when you land, just as if you're doing like a normal sock folder, but the benefit of this is that you can jump like every single frame before you even bonk in this block, so it doesn't matter if you do AFO or anything like that, just make sure you don't jump late enough so then you don't bonk, you don't bonk in the block um you can also get d5 o if you jump a frame later and the same rule applies you don't have to jump at the same time like you would for normal like d5 o on clock folder and then you just gotta do a frame perfect one frame jump from here and then do pull inputs and the sub speed manip is pretty much the same thing as you would do on a aggressive sock folder scenario so yeah and if you jump a frame earlier you get you can I know that it is there it is if you perform C40 inputs you get C3O all that stuff so pretty much I would consider this a an easier version of aggressive soft folder unless you feel like not comfortable from jumping from that spot in the ground but since it saves the same amount of time, I would recommend people. I would recommend people look into this. Then can, they can see what's better for them. Uh, since the inputs are all separated, I'm gonna call this passive sock folder because I think that makes sense. Since like normal sock folder is just sock folder, so yeah, <laughs> I don't know.